Let's do this. I am quick. I am the silver. I am. Quicksilver. Noel is Flash over there. We're a couple shots in already and uh, it's looking pretty cool so far. This is probably shaping up to be one of the bigger videos that we've ever done so really hope that you guys like it. What's up guys? Noel from Ismok or Ismok Reacts as you may know. Hey. I am playing the Flash. Uh, it's a two-man job getting this costume on because it's it ugly. skin tight. Ugly. Tony's a uh, This yeah. is a GH4. Yeah. This is a that's my heart. Does this look cool? Does it look cool when I stand like this? Do I look cool? Do I look fast? Do I look really fast? How fast do I look? Uh, look you look fast. sonic fast. Does it look fast when I do this? So fast. Hey, what's up guys? Tony here. You probably know me as Green Arrow and also uh, the douchebag from uh, the podcast. So, I am, I am assisting today. Assistant director, I'm helping Danny out with all the uh, shots. Also helping with uh, random stuff like lighting as well as uh, bounces and all that other jazz. Basically, the shot that we need to do right now is Quicksilver is going to run, he's going to be sprinting, and then as soon as he, uh, then he's gonna stop, spin, foot is going to be right in front of where the camera is. So the camera has to be at a low angle, uh... pointing straight back. And then Noel is going to be running uh, not too far behind. So basically, you're going to see me run, running toward you. The camera's at a low angle. I'm going to turn, I need to spin, foot to the camera, and it's going to be running this direction. It has to be on either on sticks or really on the floor or something. Okay, I'm going to put this uh, shot where you see Quicksilver running and stomp with his foot right in front of the camera. This is going to be tricky. Run back and forth about 10 times. In uh, Vegas desert heat. Yeah, wearing, uh, you guys can't really tell, but there's, there's definitely these suits are. Uh, skin tight. This is an extra layer of skin that we have. Yeah. So you've met me before. My name's Oscar. I'm going to be doing the sounds again for uh, Quicksilver versus, versus the Flash. And it is going to be epic. These guys are outside of reality. They're moving super fast, they're punching super hard. And uh, you're gonna hear it, so uh, stay tuned. No, I just got it. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I got it. Hi. Because it wasn't funny. I got it. Yeah. What a <laughs> It's lucky he has that suit on our punch in his face. I think it's probably my favorite take so far. Yeah. Just kidding, guys. Go punch him in the face. What's up? I'm Robert. Uh, I'm here kind of as a first AC, uh, helping out the camp crew, also taking some behind the scenes pictures. Uh, emotional use, so having a good time, trying to wrap things up. And yeah, it's a great day. Great day to be alive. Really Jer, so we should both be uh, in frame on this one, uh, fully in frame, on the feet and, and head and head and all, so basically full body shot. Uh, we need an empty plate. We need a plate of flash running in, blocking, and then getting hit. And then another shot of uh, me just doing the wheel game. So, but it's, it's just one play. Like... Yeah, just a flat shot. So you're gonna see him run in and get just smashed to the side, and then I'm gonna composite in both of us at the same time. Okay. Cool. Hi, I'm Lance Brazil. Um, I know me as Destro from Nightwing series, but I'm also here on part of Quicksilver and Flash to help out with the fight choreography and coordination and part of the Arhat Orphan Brotherhood stunt team. I see you're hitting him, so you almost wanted to like stop. 
your butt. Do you think by, with the cutting that it'd be better if I was just like boom, like that? Or if I was like boom, and then step back like this? Because like, it depends on that shot. Yeah. Because... Well, the thing is that shot will be so quick okay. that it will literally see him boom. He gets in out of the I would say follow. Follow all the way through? Yeah, follow okay. all the way through. Mom Museum was kind enough to let us shoot here. Um, one of our, our producers, Adam Coburn, he knows one of the um, coordinators here. So we coordinated this shoot, and unfortunately, as you're seeing here, this big bus Las Vegas is, has a tour schedule. So every, anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, while we're shooting, we'll have a tour bus come in on the back of our shot. So we have to kind of stop what we're doing. Like for instance, we just saw Jeremy set up a shot. And unfortunately, we had to stop what we were doing and have to reset it when this bus leaves. Kind of just one of the perks of uh, doing stuff in Las Vegas. So like he goes from being like his face right in the freaking lens. Like almost think the lens is controlled the truck. Yeah. He can fly. And, and then finally stops. So we want to shoot him small. It's 4K, so we can do whatever we want. A lot of a lot of room to play. We do this farther away so we have his full body, and then Noel just acts like he got hit, and then boom, gets into his uh, his uh, set stance. You know what I mean? That sounds like it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Want me to do it one more time? Yeah, uh, try and make it definitive, like you stop and then, okay. so okay. we have clean parts. That works. Go for you. Yep. Alright. Moving on. Quick sound tip. If you cannot get a clean place to record, you are going to record again. See all the cars on the busy streets? Not the friendliest when it comes to recording dialogue. So we might have to rent out a studio and uh, record some dialogue. So right now we're actually uh, about to get suited up again. We're, we're done with lunch and uh, it's been awesome so far. We're about halfway done and pretty excited to see what uh, the end product is. Okay, so the next shot is the fight stuff. So moving forward from here, all the rest of the shots from here on in are just fights, reactions, fight inserts, etc., etc. So this is interesting. Flash versus Quicksilver is definitely the most unique fight scene we've ever shot before because the way we've been handling fight scenes so far is making it a conversation. So two people fighting each other hand in hand, it's like we have the over the shoulders and it's just like cutting back and forth. Like one person's talking, the other person's talking. But this one is so visual effect heavy and so different because these are two speedsters. They're not like you know, super strength or super martial arts or anything like that. So the way we're envisioning it is kind of like a Dragon Ball Z fight where there's literally like speed back and forth everywhere. And to shoot that is really hard because it's literally part by part by part. And it's not shooting it like a conversation like normally So it's like, so we'll see how it turns out, I guess. Two, all that three, three and then right, that. Yeah, then so that. we want to do so. Do this, Jared. We should probably do. Uh, so it's one, two. So we should we should have snap to my hand, and that to have the yeah. entrance and exit. Okay, and then wind back. Okay. So let's so, rotate you guys a little bit. Wide shift. Because so, yeah, you won't be able to stick. Because if he snaps it back, you won't be able to flow through. Yeah. And that's the thing. Hold it a little longer. So can I see your snap? There you go. There you go. No, I'm all hips, buddy. So yeah, get those. Yeah. See how to get them. Even in those hips, man. Oh no, we need to get first there. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Ooh, you want to do that once more, just faster on the on the elbow? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Is that working for you? Yeah. Try from below. Yeah. Could you be down like there? <laughs> like right there? Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Is that good? Yeah. Really, you want to try to get that to flow up, but. Pull back? Yeah. Honestly, the whole time I'm, I'm actually moving. And. 
So once we clash, maybe just for a split moment and then turn it off. Okay. Alright. So Apparently it's oh, sick. Fuck! See that? See that? That's called the Jeremy Lee movie. Right yep. Well, I still don't that's, know what it is. Jeremy Lee. What is that that's a classic that? Jeremy Lee. Okay. Um, Jeremy Lee, the shit out of Jeremy Lee. Lee. Did you want to try that again or is that good? Right, were you happy with it? Yeah. You seem pretty happy with it. Let's go. Come on. Alright. And this is the last shot of the day. We just gotta get this last one and then we are out of here. What do you need? What's up? What's up, <laughs> what girl? What's up, girl? You got that? Two. Two. Alright, let's get my stuff and let's get the hell out of here. Are you done? Is he done? He's done. Get him out. Wait, no. Uh, didn't someone want to take a picture with you? I think red would be alright. Wrapped what day one of Flash vs. Quicksilver. Woo! That hair looks amazing. <laughs> um, I am so hot, you guys. I think I'm gonna melt. Uh, one of my toes hurts. It may be broken. I don't know. Uh, but it was a good shoot. So we just wrapped the first day of shooting, a great first day at the Bob Museum here in uh, downtown Las Vegas. Uh, they let us use this location free of charge and it is an amazing, amazing museum. So if you guys uh, are in Vegas, you get a chance, definitely check out the Bob Museum. Awesome people run this place and crazy amount of history uh, behind, this, behind this building. So really, if you guys have some time, check it out. It's super cool and uh, a big thank you to them for, uh, for letting us use this location. know Sam. Sam uh, did uh, Noel's makeup for the uh, Deadpool Deadpool video and now she's doing my her on this video. We have a base of white and then silver so we kind of put a little bit of both of them. The white creates sort of a gray but the silver adds like a nice little sparkle but too much of the silver looks a little bit weird so it's good to combine them. You guys might be wondering why this treadmill has all this stuff on it. But that's because this treadmill doesn't belong to us. It belongs to Noel's family. And they reluctantly allowed us to take it apart. Uh, we actually pulled the, uh, this thing off, set it off to the side. And that's what this giant bar is here. This is what it's supposed to rest on. And it's soldered to the, to the little side bars here. And we can't really remove it uh, without pretty much breaking the entire thing. I'm sure there's a way. It's just too inconvenient. Putting it back together may not be easy. This is gonna be a real pain in the butt for me to take out. Yeah, at least it saved us like $500. Yeah. Thank you, Noel's family. <laughs> so, Lee, we have uh, Quicksilver running straight ahead, turns his head, notices Flash running uh, behind him, Smurf spins out. The next shot is a full body shot of the Flash trying to catch up with Quicksilver. I kind of wanted a shot where we see his legs, so you can see him running behind. Well, you want to be in the movie, what can I say? Come on, puppy. When he does... Yeah, we were trying to get Juanito in the suit, but Juanito is just a lot buffer than Noel, so <laughs> we, 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 Sorry, he wouldn't fit. Come <laughs> here. Juanito. <laughs> so are we doing your stuff first? Um, so, fun fact, I had to straighten my hair for uh, this Flash costume because my hair was way too thick and curly. The helmet literally would not even go on my head. I had to be reassembled. I had to reassemble the helmet just because of my hair. <laughs> My beautiful locks. So, fun fact. It's 11-11. Uh, Make a wish, Rob. All your dreams will come true. Okay. Yeah. I wish I had a drone.
big on the arm right here. Um, here. There's got to be a way for me to elbow his knee without, like... Oh, yeah. Just, just take the pain. Yeah. Over here. Way up I'm trying not to take the pain this early on, dude. We still have three other fights we need to shoot today. Do more for his, uh, more on his hat. Yeah. The rain is coming down like crazy right now. If you could see out there, uh, that's where we were just were. And uh, our tent that was keeping us dry just fell over. Yep, so. that just happened. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So remember, you got kicked in the neck. You want to do that sort of rag doll. But so I, all right, imagine your landing position here is where you're going to come around. Okay. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Go. Imagine you just came from a roll, too. Good. Cool. Yeah, I think we're good. That's it, that is a wrap for Flash vs. Quicksilver, arguably the hardest video that we have ever made. Hi! Hi, my name is Kayla. I'm Christopher. And we're from In Disguise Designs, and we're talking about the costumes for Flash vs. Quicksilver. Quicksilver first. What we did for him is we wanted him to inherently be very different from the Flash. Quicksilver doesn't necessarily have a set costume, especially right now in the comics with the films. We wanted to give him something that was different. Definitely wanted to go with the short sleeves, show off those guns. As you can see, we used uh, textured fabric that we actually make ourselves to do uh, the details and all in the shirt. Definitely wanted to highlight the muscle striations of how his pectorals run, his abs and his obliques. And the idea behind the silver ink that we used here is actually that maybe Magneto made this shirt for him. Maybe it's like armor, it's, it's fluid, it moves with his body. And I definitely wanted to add some color. As you can see, there's this blue cording. Definitely see it when the sun picks it up really well. We gave him greaves and running, actually boots that are designated for running because he's all about the, his kicks, all about his leg strength. We really wanted to highlight that. The goggles help, I think, break up the silhouette without it, just looks a little bare and uh, even a little nod to uh, Days of Future Past right. the goggles. Flash is so synonymous. His look in the comics has always been the same. Always full covered head, covered everything, red suit. He's Wally, so we definitely wanted to give him like the white symbol, the white behind the, the gold. And his fabric, again, is textured. It's little tiny lightning bolts. That set was designed by Christopher and all done by hand in our shop. And for his suit, one thing I really wanted to do was not just give him an all red, all plain silhouette. I wanted to break it up with something. And the idea behind all these points is actually that this is almost like high resistance. He bends his arm and you can see the fabric like folds in on itself. And it looks like, to me, it was the point of it was that his elbows and his knees are gonna take the most movement and he has to be able to do the most in those areas. And again, it was a challenge to make sure his helmet flows with the whole suit. I wanted it to look like in an entire encapsulated thing. How did he get in there? So one of the uh, ideas actually for the lightning bolts was that it follows like the muscle striations of your body. You can see that on the, on the deltoid, how it actually kind of comes in and around the bicep and it even goes up to the hand. We actually left the gloves fingerless because we actually thought it gave it more of a dynamic look and it actually uh, kind of gives them the idea of sort of like a speed skater when they're running really fast. These lightning bolts were actually uh, sculpted by hand and then the, uh, the symbol and the ears were actually 3D modeled and 3D printed. We also wanted to distress all the gold. We had the idea that maybe the, the fabric being that indestructible carbon, na carbon nanotube weave and maybe the, the gold parts are, are, a, are some not sort of durable. not as a durable metal and after his time and time again of running through the speed force, you know, it's just started to wear and tear and you can kind of see that a little bit on the ears and on the symbol and that, that was all intentional. 
Thanks guys for tuning in. We hope you love the costumes. And if you like these and want to see our future projects, be sure to like us on our Facebook page by clicking on the link below. Find out who Daredevil will be facing by following us on Twitter and Facebook. If you liked the video, please be sure to subscribe and share. And if you really enjoy our content, consider supporting us on Patreon so we can continue to create more awesome videos for you guys. Hit the link to see our friends over at Variant, go over how we chose the winner. And don't forget to check out our last episode, Green Arrow vs. Hawkeye.